people are brought into your family and people are brought into my family, for better or for worse, Allah brought them together for a purpose. Everything He does is for a purpose. Sometimes you look at your brother, you're like, how are you my brother? Sometimes people look at their parents like, seriously, you're my parents? Like I'm nothing like you. How are you my parents? Sometimes you, have, you wonder, like if, if we weren't family, I don't know if I would have anything to do with you or would want to have anything to do with you. But Allah put people together for a purpose. He knows exactly who to you know, put in whose family and who to connect and tie to each other genetically. In fact, he even planned for who should be your in-laws. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. He planned for that too. Now all of that can feel like a big trial, but if I, if I contemplate this ayah a certain way, I need to find the blessing in it, and I cannot find the blessing in it unless I look, look at everything purposefully. Maybe behind this conflict, I need to be purposeful and find the right thing to do, the right things to say to fix this conflict. Allah talks about people who really believe in Him, and He says, and th those who do fasad, on the opposite side, He says, وَيَقْطَعُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ أَنْ يُصَلْ وَيُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ They cut apart what Allah commanded to keep together. Like families are hard to keep together. You know, spouses are hard to keep together. Kids are hard to keep together. The conflicts between siblings can be very intense. The conflicts between parents and kids can be very intense. The conflict between your family and your in-law's family can be very intense. Those are not small conflicts. But in, in all of those conflicts, if I look at that purposefully, if I look at, you know what, I'm going to turn this into a blessing somehow. I'm going to find a way of resolving this conflict. I'm going to find a way of engaging this conversation. Allah put our prophets in such difficulty. And he, they found a way of seeking the favor of Allah because they looked at everything purposefully. So this is one of the first lessons that we draw from أَفَبِ نِعْمَةِ اللَّهِ وَبِ نِعْمَةِ اللَّهِ هُمْ يَكْفُرُونَ Another thing that I'd like to remind myself and all of you of in these ayat is that Allah Azza wa Jalla says وَاللَّهُ جَعَلَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا It's really heavy words. Allah didn't just say He made you, He gave you spouses. That would have been easier. وَاللَّهُ جَعَلَ لَكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا Allah provided you spouses. Good enough. Nope, Allah جَعَلَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا Allah furnished for you, provided for you, for you from your own selves, from within yourselves. Now, the, the, contemplating this, some of us soon had really interesting thoughts. Who, is, who are you? You and I are human beings. And the word, to be, to be human, the word insan, is tied to uns and isti'nas. It's tied to compassion, love, care, courtesy. Those are feelings that human beings were given inside of them. To have, to have regard for somebody else's feelings. Like for example, when Allah says about not entering people's homes without permission. Like if you just saw, if you went to some friend's house, you can't just walk in, right? Hatta tasta'nisu, until you can feel that you're wanted, right? And so you shouldn't go at 3 a.m. to your friend's house and say, hey, so he, doesn't, he doesn't mind. I can just walk in. No, you can't just walk in and you shouldn't go at, it at, a, at an uncomfortable hour. You should have the sense of when this is a courteous thing to do. The, the word for human beings is actually directly tied to the word for care, courtesy, feelings, love, compassion. Uns and isti'nas. Allah says, He made my spouse from the same elements that He made me. If I have feelings, if I have thoughts, if I have considerations, she does too. And a spouse should think, if I have feelings, some things bother me. I love some things, I care about some things. He cares about some things too. And they can't be the same. We're not the same. He differentiated between the male and the female. So we both have feelings, we both have sensitivities, and at the same time, we're both really different. And when Allah says, min anfusikum azwajan, there's a really beautiful you know, ishara in these, in these words. There's an indication in these words that because they are from me, I have to try to feel, how, you know, if they're saying something that's hurtful, where's that coming from? What feeling did that come from? What would make her say that? It's not just because she's evil or not because they're just arrogant. Those are easy answers, right? This person's so arrogant, they said this, this, and this. But maybe behind what you think is arrogance is pain. And you have your way of dealing with pain, and they have a very different way of dealing with pain. And their pain comes out in hurtful, hurtful words. 
or what you think are hurtful words. So if we develop this, this istinas, then in our, in our family relationships, you wouldn't see your son as being disrespectful. You would see behind that disrespect, something happened that needs to get resolved. Some, there's a wall there that you need to break with your love and compassion. And you need to do that purposefully. You need to, to understand the larger purpose. Allah wants these people that were put in a family, Allah wants them to stick with each other. Allah wants them to overcome their barriers. Wallahu ja'ala lakum min anfusikum azwajan. وَجَعَلَ لَكُمْ بَنِينَ وَحَفَدًا It's also interesting that in these ayat, Allah provided you children. Allah provided you in-laws, grandchildren, others that will serve your purpose, others that will be of benefit to you. Allah is saying that because, the, and all of it starts with azwaj, meaning you get married, when you get married, you connect it to another family. Because you connected to another family, maybe one day you lost a job, or you had a difficulty, and it was your, your wife's cousin's friend that helped you out. You know, there's connections that are made, that Allah provided help for you, risk for you in ways you couldn't have imagined because of that relationship. Because connections were formed through that. So Allah is telling us that we should look at our, the human relations that we have and the impact of those relationships as all part of Allah's plan that He provided. The people that came into my life are people that He provided. That doesn't mean that it always works out. It doesn't mean that everybody's great, but it does mean that we have to look at everything purposefully. We have to, we have to keep that in mind first and foremost. I hope you guys enjoyed that video clip. My team and I have been working tirelessly to try to create as many resources for Muslims to give them first steps in understanding the Qur'an all the way to the point where they can have a deep, profound understanding of the Qur'an. We are students of the Qur'an ourselves and we want you to be students of the Qur'an alongside us. Join us for this journey on BayinaTV.com where thousands of hours of work have already been put in and don't be intimidated, it's step by step by step so you can make learning the Qur'an a part of your lifestyle. There's lots of stuff available on YouTube but it's all over the place. If you want an organized approach to studying the Qur'an beginning to end for yourself, your kids, your family and even among peers, that would be the way to go. Sign up for BayinaTV.com.